can sort of begin to imagine how something that no one has seen for a long time or ever seen would be able to do so in here. There was a ridge probably about 100 yards in front of us. Next thing we heard a massive tree break. I look up and all I saw was the girth of this thing walking across the top. Are we being watched right now? Very, could very well possibly be. So you're absolutely confident there are animals living in this bush we're about to walk into that have not been identified by the mainstream. 100%. So this is what you would consider prime real estate for a Yowie. I am actually fucking shitting bricks right now. We've got something up here. Oh, it's out. It's moving at about two o'clock. I'm fucking legitimately scared. I got fucking hit by a rock. The fuck is going on? I think every single person in the Western world is familiar with this footage. The Patterson-Gimlin footage is still the best footage known of this giant ape-like creature or monster that lives deep in the woods of America. But people for the longest time have said that that footage right there is absolute bullshit. But perhaps the most compelling piece of evidence for the existence of this giant ape-like creature wandering the woods since the dawn of time is that every single ancient culture has the exact same story. The Native Americans have a story of a bipedal Sasquatch. The Canadians also have the Sasquatch. The Yeti of Nepal. The Indonesians have the Orang Pangdek. But what terrifies me is the countless stories from the oldest continent on Earth, Australia. This is the tale of my hunt for the Yowie. G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman here. Hope you're having a real fine time wherever you happen to be. I am right here, just about to make my way into the bush because ladies and gentlemen, after our great adventure hunting ghosts just a couple of months ago, we caught amazing footage. We're going hunting for something else today and that happens to be the Australian Bigfoot, the Yowie. The legend has been passed down through generations of this giant hairy beast that happens to walk through our bush here in this country. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that they talk about with the Yowie that really gives away where he happens to be in the bush is this foul odor, this foul scent that comes from him. And ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm for you right now that I am smelling that foul odor and that foul scent. And that happens to be with my mate, Zach Wild, who's joining us, you stinky man. Oh, Welcome back. It's good to be back. I'm loving it. <laughs> Don't talk like me. <laughs> mate, we're going up. How are you feeling? What's going on? We're going into the bush. Mate, this is scary. This I'm feels a bit... like another episode of the Ghost Hunters again. I feel like uh, you're going to stitch me up. I'm a bit worried. I don't know where we're going with this. Last time we tried to scare you, it didn't work. Didn't work. Because we weren't prepared. No. I didn't have time to think about it. No. This time, am I prepared? I don't think so. No, I'm not. I actually <laughs> I completely forgot about that as well. But ladies and gentlemen, we've got some amazing people that are going to show us around here today up in the Sunshine Coast. So uh, let's get to it. This hunt, this journey to find the most elusive monster on the planet starts the only way I know how. Meeting a stranger who hunts for it on the weekend in a random service station in the middle of nowhere. I hope I don't get killed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to the first site here today and we're in the car. It's all happening driving past the uh, Glasshouse Mountains, a centre for paranormal activity, yowie sightings, big black cat sightings, and uh, it's very exciting. I don't know what to really expect here. These guys are talking a big game. They're telling us how much, how important it is to be respectful to the bush when you walk in there. Otherwise, the yowies won't come out and, and uh, communicate with us. These guys are really, they're really strong on their belief, Zach. I mean, you were in there in the servo when we were waiting for them for longer than we were there. What did you think when you were talking to them? Oh, uh, mate, I am a bit of a skeptic myself, so... Why are you skeptical? I don't know. I, I've uh, obviously watched the Joe Rogan thing that you sent to me last night, and I do believe that there was obviously something around, but then 
I don't know. I, I think the way they're playing it off is they're making out that it's real, but I think it is uh, like a spiritual sort of thing. Okay. Well, a lot of people talk about, and that's what Joe talked about in his uh, in his show, was Jai Pantapithecus. Jai Pantapithecus. That's it. Which is a giant ape-like creature about 10 foot tall, which existed up until about 10,000 years ago, and then around the late last ice age, it sort of disappeared. So that's what people sort of believe that Bigfoot may be, or some lost primate. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not the expert on this on this sort of topic, so I guess we just need to find out more from the people who are going to be luring us into the woods in a matter of hours. But one of the ladies just told me that she saw an alien as well, like a, a little grey human, yeah, uh, humanoid walking in the bush. So this is obviously a centre for either complete crack pottery <laughs> or a serious case of the paranormal or cryptozoological uh, experiences for a lot of people. This location we're in right now, it doesn't seem like it's even in Australia. Thousands of pine trees, extremely thick vegetation. You can sort of begin to imagine how something that no one has seen for a long time or ever seen or remains very recluse and um, hides from modern civilization would be able to do so in here. Um, I don't know where we are, but we're at the Glasshouse Mountains, a beautiful sort of location. We're now going down a dirt track. Um, this has got some Ivan Malat vibes at the moment. Wouldn't this be a terrible way to go out for me? Like they've just lured us into the jungle. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you the bloody Bigfoot or yeah, whatever you want to look at. Just come in here, follow us in. Yeah, don't bring any weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to go and hunt the Australian Sasquatches, we need to dress like a hunter. We need to find this creature and what better things to wear than stuff to really just fit into the environment. A bit of camo, mate. Side note, uh, just quickly, uh, apparently we're not supposed to be wearing these type of patches or this shirt or something. People were blowing up in the comment section. Really sorry. The dude who sold us the clothes should have bloody warned us. Anyway, uh, moving on. I don't know anything about this creature we're looking for today. So what, what are we looking for? Can you take me through absolutely everything we're about to witness here? And, uh, and where are we, for starters? Okay, we're up here on the Sunshine Coast at uh, the base of Mount Tibragargan, which there's been a long history of Yowie sightings and activity. There's countless reports of this creature, ranging anything from six to 10 foot tall, uh, plenty of tree damage, nests, um, we've heard rock clacking, we've heard tree breaks, we've heard um, trees being s smashed and pushed over. So what, what have you seen in the past? Right behind you, we have a, a, a recent nest that was done. Um, inside these tree lines here, there's a lot of uh, tree bends, there's um, uh, nests, other, other types of nests that they build. Um, Can we have a look at the nest? This is the nest right here. So this was done a couple of weeks ago. They're not designed to sort of stay for a long time, but um, in here, um, they build these, what we assume for their young, to just harbor their young. So around you'll find at the front pocket there, there's a couple of peepee -pee holes. Um, down around here, you've got, this is what they make up with all, their, all the debris from the ground and they'll, they'll just spike it up. Is this something you commonly see along here? No. no. So this is, this is so new? So we found this about a month ago, three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Um, it was a lot more intact. It was a lot more um, covered and dense. Um, around the front there, you've got a, like an actual doorway entrance. And what we find with these when, when we do find them, um, they tend to have like a pine cone or some kind sitting in the doorway. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a pine cone just in there. Yeah, it's probably so it would have dropped through. What does that so mean? So this is an older one. This okay. is about three weeks old. Is this like is this an offensive thing to do to the yowie? Like be at, at its nest here? You have a smell in there. Okay, it'll smell musty and like a teenager's room. Smell that? <laughs> like Zach after a lonely night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, any night. <laughs> la, la. Yeah, it is a bit musty, yeah. Yeah. It's quite a small area. How does it fit in there? Well, like Johnny the was saying, be okay. for the young ones, whereas the adults will be anywhere out here looking around, and this is like a 
safety barrier for the little ones. It's very close to the entrance though, so. Oh like, yeah, yeah, like 99% of our activities after dark. Right. Like. I've, I've just noticed that all the trees around this area here are all missing branches up to the top. Is that a common thing just with these particular trees or is that? Yes, it can be. We kind of look at the trees around and we work out the structures, which when we get in there, we can show you what yeah. we're talking we'll about. With this nest here, you'll see that the base here is still in the ground. Ah. Okay. But what they've done is they tip it over and they pin it in and then they build around it. You try That's and lift solid, that out of the ground. That is a very solid structure. Yeah. yeah. Have a go at that, like give it a shake. I mean, have a good yank at it, it won't move. Now, no human could do that. No human could push that over. See how this branch is across the middle of the fork there? You have a look around, the trees around there, there's nothing where it could have broken off. And this is what we've seen quite a few times in different areas. But that's a, that's a low one, that one. They're usually about 15, 20 foot off the ground. And there's no way anybody could get them up there and they haven't come from the trees in that vicinity. So why do you think, so it's, it's a seat, yeah? Is that what well, you're suggesting? Well, that's what we're classifying it as, yeah. So you're saying that this this log, this tree, could yep. not have come from any of these trees? There, there's think. nothing here where we can see where it's snapped off and wedged in there. I just uh, noticed something interesting. And through the videos that I've seen on Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the Yeti, and now stuff on um, the Yowie, is that this type of tree is a common sort of sign. I mean, that's bent over, that's weird enough. But then there's this, at probably what, six, 10? Yeah, six eight, foot to ten, ten. eight to 10 footer. Eight to 10, yeah. and it's just snapped in half. Yeah. Like, is that from the breeze running through? No. So what yep. I've found with things like this is when they're snapped, so sometimes you'll find two that will snap, so close together. Um, and when that happens, I tend to follow the track. Doesn't matter where it goes, I'll just go bush and follow the track and you'll find more tree breaks, more tree breaks, yeah. more tree breaks. We seem and to think it's like a directional Right, so, so it's almost like, you know, Jack and Jill are walking through the, the bush and then they snap that off to go, okay, I was here. Yeah, and, I yeah. Know which and direction like I'm Johnny going. was saying. We think it guides towards cities or water. Mm. Okay. And where that, that one's a... pointing is a creek, straight over there. Right, so these two coming in like that, pointing straight that way, what goes towards water. Yep. How long have you been doing this run? Oh, seriously, about seven or eight years. Okay. Yeah. So you've yeah. seen a lot? I've seen a lot. I've seen two. You've seen two? I've seen two of them. Mm -hmm. yep. What happened when you saw them? Can you take us through what uh, happened? Well, the first one we saw, there was two of us. We would have been oh, 30 kilometres from here at a place called Mount May in the Diagula Forest. And it was about three o'clock in the afternoon, we're walking down the track and there was a ridge, probably about a hundred yards in front of us. Next thing we heard a massive tree break. I look up and all I saw was the girth of this thing walking across the top where this tree broke. And we got out of there, that was about three o'clock in the afternoon. The second one was far more clearer. Like it was oh, about 9.30 at night, there was three of us. The guy in the same area, the guy had the video camera on the front there was a lady in the middle and I was at the back. We're walking down this track, would have been 10 foot wide. Next thing, two massive rocks just dropped probably from here to that tree away from him to the side. He turned to the side, we're still looking ahead, about 20 foot ahead of us, big monster comes straight across the track, straight to the other Does side. Does this scare you? Well, we got out of there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but you still keep coming back to look for these yeah, creatures? Yeah, because we want to get it on film. Why has no one got it on film? I guess that's the big question. Because, because there's so my, many deer traps, there's, yeah, there's all my, these type of things. My personal opinion, it's only my opinion, I think they're interdimensional. Okay. What we saw come across the track would have been between eight and nine foot tall. And the girth, honestly, would have been like that. And it was like it floated across the track. And where it went into the bush on the other side, we should have heard it, didn't hear it. Didn't hear a thing. Well, I mean, obviously that sounds out of this world it sounds yeah. it sounds yeah. ridiculous but it's something that you've seen yeah well like two of us saw it we right. saw the same thing you know and and like i was saying to johnny with the prints you'll find one print right but you won't find any more right right are these things stepping in and out of different dimension i don't know but there's an area we go to where we saw those two there's probably a 50 yard section where we lose power right 
and then it comes good again. You were talking about that before. Yeah. We know that they live a long time. We know that they are in here. We can't, you know, we can only come in and just do what we can, you know, and get as much data as we possibly can. This is interesting. We're talking about those tree breaks before. Johnny's just spotted that right up the top there. You can see that tree, it's on that angle, has in fact broken the other way. So you've got to look at it in the, in the aspect of, have termites done it? Is it an old tree? Is there anything else that's knocked it off? You know, all these kinds of things. Um, but as you can see, the trees, none of these trees are termite ridden. So can this be from wind? Give it a go. Zach? <laughs> Come here, big boy, where are you? I want you to shake that tree and see if it breaks. Shake it like it's a night at home on Pornhub. Come on. <laughs> Pause that. Is that all you got? Oh. <laughs> oh, you could, I reckon I could break that. I just don't want to, last time I did it, when I was a kid camping, it broke there and that bit went like into my chest. Didn't I'm impale trying. me, I'm pretty tough, but I lived. But, but obviously that's a, a lot of these trees aren't like that at all. Like that's not, that's hard as, that's not going to break unless you really, but all also right. as you, as, as we're saying, the wind's not doing that. No. The wind's not hitting that hard. You'd have to hit a hurricane to hit that hard. So what happened last night? Cause I've heard you guys refer um, to last night a couple of times well, already. I think how many do you reckon were out there last night? There was um, five and then one would go and then one would come back that yeah. I five was picking up on. Yeah. Okay. They were, and they were surrounding us and yeah. then they were all coming in and from where we were, we were hearing sticks, sticks break, like crunch, snap from me to run away. And we were like, we're in a pitch They're close. Black. Like, they're Do you have right a torch going? Or? No, turn no, 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 off. turn everything off. Sticks. And you can wood knock and they'll knock back. We had a knock that was probably double the distance of Ron. Now the wood knock um, is hitting a tree with another piece of wood, right? Yeah. Or yep. hitting a tree with an object to communicate through yeah. the yep. reverber we'll the reverberations later through the tree. Yeah. Yep. And, and they also and do rock clacking as well. Okay. They'll bang rocks together. Yep. And my personal opinion is, look, from what we've seen in the past, the rock clacking's a warning. Yep. Right, and the tree knocking's communication between them. Fuck me, ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie can really set the scene, can't he? Right, so you don't want rocks happening. Don't want rock clacking. No. Rock's bad, and tree's rock good. And is a get out of here. And yeah, we've had plenty of rocks thrown at us. Should we have weapons? No. No, well, I'll tell no, you a story. There's a lot of people who, who do go in and a lot of people tend to, you know, either get hurt or they right. don't get anything. We had, we had two incidents. Probably shouldn't be on camera with these. But Dale took nine of us went in one night. The guy at the back had the gun. Okay, guess where the rock went? Yeah, right, old mate. Him. Yep. I guess my question here is, are we being watched right now? Very, they, could very well possibly be. Yeah, we're, How do you we're, tell? In a, we're, we're in an active area of theirs okay. where they have created homes and they've got their structures and they've got their nests. And, and we're what, 60 metres from the car? Oh, yeah. 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 Seems insane, but. No, You've got evidence here, so this is why we brought you here. Let's go deeper. Well, the tunnel. The tunnel? Over no. at Malula. Oh, fuck, no one told me about a fucking tunnel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> far away tunnel. Did you know yeah. about the tunnel? Uh, I knew about the tunnel. What do you well, know about the tunnel? <laughs> this is my show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, last time we were out there, remember we were standing in the car park, and there was houses 50 yards away, and we had a massive tree knock just virtually just in front of my car where it was parked. Right. And you'll hear dogs going off there all the dogs time. Dogs are going spastic. And I don't get scared. I'm quite calm and collected a lot of the times. And this time we're all like, just felt it from the ground up, just bubbling. Get out, get just get out. All right. And you don't, we don't normally worry about most of them sort of things. Cause you kind of go, okay, well the activity's coming in. The energy's drawing in. Let's sit and wait, lights off, let it come to us. So you're telling me we're going to be sitting up there in the dark? Yes, let's go. No We've fire, got more stuff no to lights. See okay, so this was sun down at the Barrington Tops. I taped the GoPro just to the top of the torch that I had, um, to, just to keep the focus and the light in the, the same location. 
and I found this when I got home. I didn't notice anything happening when I was there, but when you get home and everything and you start looking at the footage, so it's this shape here that we're looking at. Now this is one in America, but this is what it turns in. It sort of looks like this as the as the video <coughs> progresses. It looks more like that one. So did you hear anything this night as well, or you just only noticed this afterwards? Afterwards. Yeah. And that's mostly the case with these guys. You know, they are so stealth that you just you don't really notice when they're there. And it all happened very fast and you don't sort of see it until you get home, review the footage, slow it down, zoom it in, and then you start to see what shows up. Oh, he's yeah, about to stand start up. standing up and he moves off. Right. But So is that, that couldn't be a bat, that couldn't be anything like that? No. I, um... I go into it more here and yep. slow it down more, zoom it, zoom it in more, um, and yeah, you can you can clearly see, you know, the broad shoulders, the cone head. Um, it's it's got sparse hair in the middle of its back. It's sort of patchy in there. It looks thicker on the shoulders and, and more patchy in the center of its back. It's definitely something, isn't it? Yeah. So I was saying in the car right up here, like, is is it a, a physical thing or is it more of a spiritual thing, or that also? I think they can be both. Mm. Um, the Aboriginal I believe the Kamilaroi tribe. They say that there's two kinds of yowies. Um, there's the yoi and the yuri. Yeah. And one is physical and one is metaphysical. Right. So they they have it in their culture that there are two kinds. Yeah, but they're not purely just flesh and blood. Okay, this is the face. Oh, yep. <laughs> now that's how fast it happened. Now I slow it down, zoom it in. Ugh. That is strange. It's a definite eye, isn't it? Yeah, and the nose as well. I mean, it is the human condition that we try and find faces and things that... That's a little too perfect. It, well... <laughs> it looks look a at bit like a lamb. No, it definitely does look like a face. I'm not taking that away from you yeah. for a second. Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, about all this Bigfoot business. Uh, yeah, we business. It's fucking scary shit. Isn't it scary? And they're talking about taking us this tunnel. I think the sh shit that scares me more is like bringing it back to the ghost thing. This is Luca. Luca moves. He's totally possessed. We had a full-on haunting the last day of 20 years. Hang on, hang on. What, what are we talking about? Yeah. Um, basically <laughs> demonic possession. They had landed Caroline in hospital. Of who? Caroline, over there. In hospital. No, but Chessie, of, yeah. of, of what? A yaoi. No, 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 he's saying, yeah, this is demonic. Oh, this is oh, demonic possession. Oh, no, no, where did that come from? <laughs> that was super light. What? I don't know. I, I, I mean, we were sitting there, we were looking at bloody owies, and all of a sudden, old mate comes over and starts, this is be dull. <laughs> we went from yowies to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, this, this leads into the yowies. He's a nice guy, but I'm just, I started freaking the fuck out. So none of these are you? No. That's strange. Yeah. <laughs> what are we looking for in there? I thought we were out here. That's, that was, no, that's when we got in Yowies because I put um, the first video on YouTube and everyone said those rocks and screams. They said, that's Yowies. I thought it was ghosts. Yeah, we didn't have no idea. So this is how I end up with Ron and Johnny and right, okay. doing this other stuff. Um, 
So you reckon the Yowies are in there? No, no, they were pissed. They wanted their tunnel. We're in the tunnels pissing down rain and they wanted their tunnel. They want us out. Right. Yeah. So they got... Do you think that was a Yowie noise? Yeah, the rocks were. That was, yeah. that was the warning to get the hell out. The screams... We didn't hear the screams at the time that was picked up in the recording, um, but the rocks, yeah, nine rocks in total okay. at that point. Do you think the Yowie is real after what we've seen in these bushes and the evidence that they've shown us so far? I mean, what they've shown us looks pretty solid to it me. It does, it does. Yeah. I mean, you look at these, in these woods, these bushes, and it is thick, thick with forestation, like a girl in the 70s pubes. Like you <laughs> cannot see through it. Can I ask why you got firecrackers in your camelback? Oh, I don't know. They just fucking ended up there. Zach pulls out firecrackers. He's, he's going through his camelback before, and Zach pulls out firecrackers that have been in there for four years. Well, I thought, <laughs> can't beat them, them, scare them away. <laughs> <laughs> well, no weapons allowed. They've got to stay in the car. I tell you what, I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but I'm excited. Something's going to go down. We're going to find something, whether it's a ghost, a yowie, who knows? Zach, I tell you what. If there's one thing I have to say, actually you say it, to wrap this segment up. Don't shit yourself in public. Amen. There's something coming in just to use. Check this out. Oh, okay. Caroline's been here and it's just in the bushes. See, so it's starting to come in. A bit of attention. Well, you're just over the back of you. Hey? Just over the back. Yeah, just in, just in your knee, Caroline. In this area here. We've seen an area down there where it looks like it's a trackway. Nice little tree break. Tree, yeah. yeah. It's almost there, it's been just grabbing the snap, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and there's a trackway coming through here. Yeah, that looks like they're using it as like a trackway further into the bush and down into the gully. There's a trackway through there, and there's a nice little tree break just here. And there's a water course down the bottom here. It actually looks like... There is prints down there, well, indentations probably 13, 14 inches long of where something's walked through there, heading down to the creek, and they're far bigger than our size nines. And the weight of, and we're hardly making an indentation into the ground there, and these things are that deep. So, what, so whatever's going down there is quite heavy. With the scene set and the sun setting, darkness approaching, it was time to head to the location of the highest activity that these local Yowie hunters have ever encountered. And ladies and gentlemen, I can right now confirm for you that it did not disappoint and my word, it scared the shit out of me for life. What went on here, I just cannot explain. Okay, we're off to another area in the next half an hour, Delarcha Tunnel at Malula. There's uh, been Yowie sightings there, and I think there's a little bit of paranormal stuff that goes on in there. I would never go in there with any less than three people, because it's just one of those places that gives you the shivers. It's not a very pleasant place. Isaac, do you think we're gonna get killed tonight or what? We're gonna die, ladies. Absolutely. We've been driving in the middle of fucking nowhere for about 20 minutes. I am scared. So, what are we going to do? What is the purpose of what we're here tonight to do? Where are we going? What's going to happen? Uh, so, we're here at Delacha. We're going to um, just take a walk. It's about 700 metres into the tunnel. Um, we'll pass through a haunted tunnel. Uh, we tend to get activity from the gate down here on the 700 metre walk. Um, and then on the other side of the tunnel, we'll take you down through to uh, where we have a lot of activity, uh, Yowie activity. Yeah, so what are, the, what are the levels of danger we're looking at here? We're Stick together, mate, that's yeah. the main thing. No, okay. Nobody wander off or lag behind. Yep. Um, Absolutely, yeah, that's the number that's one the thing. thing. We'd, we'll, we will never come here to this particular spot at night under four. Right. Always have four members. 
never go, yeah. never come here. This it's is a, just too out there. Well, thanks for bringing us along. Uh, <laughs> Zach, I'm yeah, the, terrified, man. <laughs> oh, no, I'm shitting it too. Yeah, they, they keep talking about all the batteries going dead in the all the torches and that. So Slow I'm a bit scared. Machines and yeah. How, how does this even happen? Why why is this happening that the batteries go flat and that? Uh, kind of falls into that um, energy thing that we were talking yeah. about. A lot of things will suck out energy. So we Energy's walked through happening. a haunted tunnel and it, you know, that, that just zaps everything. Yeah, you're mm. right. And you're absolutely confident. And I know you, you're the answer to this, but I need to ask this. You're absolutely confident there are animals living in this bush we're about to walk into that have not been identified by the mainstream that are considered crypto. Most definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just heard One, a wood knock there. We just had a wood knock five minutes ago. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's head into the bush. Okay. Like and subscribe, for fuck's Dang. sake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is pitch black darkness. You turn your torch off, you can't see a thing. A I'm sure track. we're going to hear some interesting things. What do we got? A bit of a trackway down through there. A bit of a path. Yeah, there's a gully down in there, little creek. Trees falling over. So this is what you would consider prime real estate. Yes. For a uh, for a yowie. There's corridors here all over the place where they can transfer through without even being seen. Right. So what I do is I tend to, um, I'll come in, I'll go ahead, just so that everyone, I can get that quiet, that darkness, and then I'll just project, pick up animals that are on the mountain. Um, and we've got uh, one that's just over here. Um, and then I heard the stick snap, so it's following us in. Um, and I've picked up on two that are coming in from this side here. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I guess we're just sort of um, trying to listen for something here and twigs snap. I mean, this is the thing with these type of videos is you're constantly looking for something, but unless something drastic happens, it's just walking through the bush. But it's scary out here. Like it's, like we're in a big group, but if you were here by yourself, you'd be shitting bricks. Thankfully I've got my bodyguard here with me. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting through him. It's an interesting breakage of that tree there. Oh, yeah. It's an interesting height of that tree breakage there. It just, it's like six foot tall. It's like this tree doesn't seem overly old. I mean, it's a thick tree. It... We just had a big shuffle in through here. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. That's how scary it is. No, I just heard like a big shuffle in through there. Up to the left hand side? Yeah, straight through where I'm pointing the torch. It's just in behind there. Oh, it was too too much noise for a frog. It was like it was like setting itself, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're about to go dark. It's uh, basically the consensus that these creatures will come out if it is dark. And, and it sort of makes sense from a wild animal's standpoint. If you, if you see a bunch of weird people walking through the bush pointing torches around, you're probably gonna avoid them. So let's uh, go quiet, let's go dark, yeah? Yeah, that's good, okay. Okay, everyone comfy?
Could anyone else hear talking? Do you want to just okay we'll light up just so Isaac can kind of speak on what's what we just heard over there yeah did you you've heard it the reply the responses did you like there's a bit of rustling in the bush over there which is generally what will happen you'll get the rustling and then they'll so not. we definitely heard something I mean the thing is and I was just this is how my mind works is what if there's other people out here trying to find yowies and they've hit the tree and you've hit the tree, and we're all just hitting trees. Where are their cars? What I what I also heard. Did anyone else hear like what sounded to be like people talking? Yeah, I heard that too. Okay. Really? So another yeah, thing. So there's another thing that they do is they um we we what they call samurai chatter. chatter. Okay. Yeah. They can influence things within you. They get like it's like a, a telepathic thing. Okay. Um, and so there's lots of hunters around the world who have experienced it we've definitely heard something like the the reply with the tree being struck like that was audible for everybody hmm. and as for the talking i didn't hear it but six other people did you'll get that feeling a lot through here like you're being followed or like yeah. you're being um you know you'll get that a lot you've always got to kind of look over your shoulder it's just the energy of this place This is one of these situations where your mind plays tricks on you. Like when it was dark, I didn't know if we were actually hearing things or it was just in my head, but it certainly sounded like, and it gives you that feeling of uh, something's going on. I remember when I was a kid, I was just playing in my yard, or playing down my street rather, and I felt like something was watching me. I turned around, there's a dog watching me. Not a bad dog or anything, it was just, you had that feeling. That is the feeling that I'm getting now, and it's freaking me out. Good. We're about to enter an old tunnel. Now, I don't know the history on this tunnel. Do any of you guys know the history of this tunnel here? Um, built in the 1800s. 1800s yeah. tunnel. Yeah, it's just an old railway line. Closed down, I think, about the 1930s, I think. Now, these guys have had a lot of paranormal experiences here. Some of the EVPs and the, and the, and yeah. the disembodied voices were heard in this tunnel here. And the rocks coming down, this is where it all went to shit in this tunnel. Now, this if I remember tunnel. correctly, there was a big rainstorm that night that yeah. you came in yeah. here, and your thought is that Whatever was out here was also seeking refuge in there, that's and that's why they didn't want you in there. Yeah, and through the big rocks down, you can hear the rocks come down the background, that's nine in favour. Did you hear the sticks yeah, breaking up there? Been We're being followed. flanked. Yeah, they followed us now. Yeah, it's all good. If worse comes to worse, throw some rocks at them on the way out, bang, 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 and just walk out through the middle of them. They understand that. Yeah. It means that they do it one time. I am actually fucking shitting bricks right now. Like, we're at the back of the trail and I'm fucking scared. I thought, I don't know, I thought I'd come in here pretty brave, but turns out I'm fucking not. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, listen to him. I can't believe they make that much noise. Look how tiny they are. through here and further down and um, they were quite clear and precise too. Okay, if everyone can just get their just feet cut like in a position so there's no shuffling All right. and stuff like that.
Unfortunately, this time we had no luck, but as anyone knows who's been in the bush at night time, it's often alive with life. But for some reason, I don't want to sound like a dickhead here, but it was quiet. Too quiet. Um, if there's not anything kind of coming, do you want to walk down there or do you want to go back and do up the hill? This was where it really started, wasn't it? Mm, and there's nothing. Mm, and we'll like give it another crackling spots and see if we can... Yeah. I didn't want to say, like, you know, bright lights and lots of people. Like, look at what happened when we went through Tibro last time with all the people. Yeah. Just don't get anything, but... You're, this place is never disappointed. They'll be following us now. Um, and it's just a matter of getting them to respond. Do you feel like we should give Johnny a bit of space and just, because we are so loud? Well, what I, what I might do, seeing we're both recorders, I might go down with her a bit further. Yeah. And that way you can pick up our mics. Cool. Well, I'll go with you guys, because I've got their mics. Okay. Stu can stay with you, because he's got your mic. Righto. So, like any good horror movie where everybody dies, we split up like complete dickheads. We're gonna go down a bit further for ourselves. What's your thoughts? I mean, I get what they're saying, like there's so many people in here that it would be. I, I know, that's what I was thinking as well. Shh, stop, stop, stop. One o'clock. Yeah, that's what I thought. And 11 o'clock, no, it's 11 o'clock, sorry, not one. I heard something up here. Can we get them to be quiet? Shh. Yeah, that's where it is. Can you hear the tree knock? Yep. He's moving down. Knock back. Run, knock back here. Can you hear that noise? At one o'clock? It's starting, guys. That was a tree knock a bit further down. Shh. A friend of mine who, in one of his sightings as a kid, I only you know, met him recently, um, and he said that he was in the Blue Mountains, sitting around a fire with a few of his mates, and then from out of the fork of this tree, what you know, it was just like a tree like this that just both of them grew out of the ground. He turned his head and out was this yowie that just appeared from between both of them and started walking towards them. The whole campsite just scattered, freaked out. But he said the thing, it's like the thing had been sitting there and it's started to appear as it's leaning forward. <sighs> Lean, like it's been leaning against the tree watching these guys well, at the campground. It's been there the whole time. It's been just there the whole walks time. walks into existence. And then just steps forward and just, he just, yeah, the whole campsite freaks. So there's not, there's a lot of reports of that, you know. Why is this place so full of these weird occurrences? We're still trying to work that out. That's why we keep coming back. We always ascertain new evidence every time we come. Um, you know, again with the six toe footprint, you know, and that was a big footprint, six toes attached to it. Yep. Um, you know, so every time we come, there's something new and then we just, you know, we all just look in and we find new evidence and we find new things and it just continuously gives us new evidence and then, you know, that always leads into something else, leads into something else. All right, Did everyone. you just hear that? Shh. We got something up here. Lights out. Yeah, that was, yeah. Something happened to the left of me right here. The expert. 
birds here think we are being flanked by a group of, well they think yowies. Um, I mean, once again it is difficult to ascertain whether or not it's your mind playing tricks on you, but you can definitely hear things moving in the bushes. It's moving at about two o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, ten o'clock. Dude, that is so close. What? So close. What? The fucking noises. It's coming down to nine o'clock. Another one. That was rock black. That means they don't want us here. It's literally like it's footsteps. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know if the camera is. I hope the audio is picking this up. He's very close. That was a lot of activity. I mean, this is what everyone's been talking about all day is when you feel surrounded. And we definitely felt surrounded there. What did you guys feel? Did you hear rocks? What was... Yeah, we heard numerous rocks being thrown all in against trees. It's footsteps. pretty active in there. Just with it being such a long stretch, I just want us to stay together from here just obviously for safety purposes. We were getting a lot of activity there, you all heard it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah just, just try it on him, hit him. All right, we're going dark. Louder. That's, it. That's a good one. There was an instant one just to the right. Yeah. That was a rock just that under the fucking rock. And there's a bean smell over your rock. Yeah. That was a good rock. Yeah, I just heard that. Did that hit you, Zach? Heard yeah, it, it hit me. I got fucking hit by a rock. Huh? I got hit by a rock. Yeah. What? That one there. Yeah, dead set. Yeah, dead set. This one here. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> no, smell it. it's a bean smell. Yeah. See, what, see what I mean? Like, if you get hit by a rock and it doesn't need a light show, mm. you've been chosen, mate. Ha ha. It's burnt electric. I'm smelling it. Oh, yeah. It's really strong, like electric or burning, and that rock got thrown in. For once in your life, you've been chosen. <laughs> Someone wants something to do with you. On my, on my foot. You come from that direction, yeah. This makes it stronger. Come from up there. It smells like incense to me. No. It's really gross, like burnt electrical. The f <laughs> fuck is going on? I did. I I didn't, and then I just did. Then we're gonna ask him to throw another rock. Did throw it? No, I didn't throw it. We were sitting there, and we just said, "Bang!" We jumped up, scared the shit out of us. Get the fuck out of here! I felt like there's two. Yeah. Was there two rocks? I just had a hit. We just said the one who went crack and hit you, and we jumped up. Because I was sitting on the ground, and it like hit me in the foot. Can we hold? Yeah, it likes you. Because if you want to hurt you, you'd have a big rock coming down the head. Honestly, no one threw it. Yeah, no one threw it. No one threw it. We'll sit in here. We'll just sit down. It scared us just as much as you. Seemed to be a fair rock too, the way it thudded on the ground. So we're going to give Zach the tapping stick, and you're going to hit the tree, the same tree, which is that one right there. Shh, what do you mean? Shh, shh. You've got it. Oh, shh. On the left. Okay, 
clog it. <laughs> this is fucking scary, man. Just knock the tree. I'm standing here, nothing's gonna go wrong. Not nah, harder. Pussy. It's better. Again. That's good. Again, sweet. It's better. Do two knocks on. At this point, the shoot was over. We were done, we were heading back to the cars. I was freaking out, everyone was freaking out there. Zach had soiled his pants on numerous occasions and we stopped in the middle of the haunted tunnel to try and collect some EVPs, as you do. footsteps at the moment. I think. What did you hear? Footsteps. You hear footsteps? footsteps. So we're in the middle of this tunnel and had the lights off doing an EVP recording and apparently most of the group heard footsteps. I heard something coming from where we had just came from. Zach, did you hear any of that? Oh, I can consistently hear it. It's just footsteps the whole time. And then a rock was thrown up the tunnel at us, some two, three hundred metres, and it landed just behind me. Tag Dixon. <laughs> oh. The rock just got pelted. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We just got hit. The rocks just got thrown in. Sorry. There you go. Even saying this right now, a few weeks after filming this, it still gives me the shivers up my spine. I can't really explain it, but this is what we caught. Yeah, that was. Yeah, have a bounce or something? Um, what was that? I'm going to look for it to see if it did have a bounce. Well, you'd think it would bounce. What about this? It would have skipped, right? You'd think so. Yeah, it, it who, who, did it, who did it get thrown at? Straight forward. Straight forest, but it's in here, I heard it. Yeah, I heard it as well. It didn't drop out there, it doesn't match up there at all. It didn't hit anyone. No, it You're experiencing it, you can see it, you can feel it, you're, you're here in it now. Mm. Um, what do you make of it, really? I don't know. This is what we come out for. It's just ascertained data. <sighs> Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> Having fun. Yeah, just because you didn't get a rock thrown at you, mate. <laughs> now, part of being in here and being in their environment, it is, uh, please stop laughing at me, it is ceremonial to give them an offering at the end just so uh, they don't chase us out of the car and try and slash our tyres. Uh, so they've got a beautiful spread here of some, of some delicious fruits. We've got some garlic, don't know about that. Uh, a couple of apples, they like garlic. There we go. And uh, so they're gonna come along when we leave, they're gonna get stuck into that. I'm fucking drained. I'm fucked too. That was a massive effort. I mean, and also because your adrenaline's pumping too, we, we heard a lot of 
weird things tonight. What do you What do you think? Dude, uh, I don't know. I've got rocks thrown at me. I'm freaking out. I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not. What's your thoughts? You can't wrap your head around how much area there is in there for something uh, to move around. And, and if what these guys say is true about these interdimensional beings and this ability to cloak themselves, then there's no way we're going to find fucking anything. Nah. So, I mean, I don't know, Zach. Did we find the Yowie? Do they exist? Are they real? I don't know. But all that I do know is that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. And we're not going to stop until we find something fucking good. All right? We're going to find some good shit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> fucking nice. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Thank you for joining us, Zachariah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.